Yo! So everything you just heard came from this. This puppy. I've been watching quite a few music YouTubers on how they sample random things and make pretty decent songs and tracks out of them. I thought, hey, let's give that a try. Ooh. So the first thing I started off with was just hitting the uh, kind of rim of the bowl. Just from hitting it that one time, I put that into the NNXT. I named it Bowl Marimba. Why not? But just from that one sound, NNXT, it maps it to your, your MIDI keyboard. I made the decision that even though I didn't know what note that kind of sound was, I wasn't too fussed, I decided that everything melodic will be from that one sample. So even if hitting it is, say, an E, I wasn't too fussed that it was mapped to a C on the MIDI keyboard. From having a little kind of play around with it, uh, I was adjusting the attack. That's how it sounds normally, but if I bring it up, it sounds more like a pad. So then, I was like, that's what I'm going to write all the chords on. Then I decided to record more percussive sounds from the bowl. So what I done first was kind of the hi-hat sound. Kind of really nice and simple, sounded good, does the job. Yeah, EQ, just the highs, took out all the low end, raised it up a little bit. That sounded good. So then after that, I just wanted to get a like a kick drum sound. So I just kind of patted the butt of the uh, of the pot. Okay, yeah, a bit of an EQ and compressed it. So that was the kick all sorted. For the snare sound, I used a little guitar wooden spatula thing. And I hit the inside of the pot. Uh, I pitched it down. Added some reverb to it, but then I felt like it wasn't quite low enough, so I bounced that sound and pitched it down again. So then between the two, just kind of mix them together, a bit of the harshness and the attack from the higher one, a bit more oomph uh, from the pitch down one. What I did add in was just this little bit here, again pretty much similar to the snare sound, uh, but what I actually done, I just pitched them down or up a little bit just to kind of add a bit of a you know, melodic phrasing into it and I had that pan to the left uh, just to fill it out a bit. Once I had kind of uh, my beat down, uh, I then came up with the main melody. Something simple, you know, simple and sweet. So for the bass, I used the same patch uh, for the main lead sound. Uh, and all I'd done here in NNXT, uh, pitched it all down an octave, kind of gave me that nice uh, kind of bassy sound. Uh, again, a bit of compression, bit of an EQ on there just to bring up the low end. And again, use the Audiomatic, the bottom on there. Just pull out them deeper, richer tones. So that's how I put it all together. Now check out this little music video that I made. <laughs> 